Hello mga bata! Welcome na naman po sa isang episode ng Edok Serye! Last time, pinag-usapan natin ang paraan ng tamang pagsukat ng ating mga ingredients na ginagamit natin sa ating bread and pastry. Ngayon naman po, ay pag-uusapan natin ang iba't ibang basic ingredients na ginagamit natin sa bread and pastry at kung para sa nga po ba siya. Handa na ba kayo? Tara, simulan na natin! Ayan, so we have the basic ingredients and their function. Unahin na natin ang pinakamadalas natin ginagamit sa ating bread and pastry, which is ang ating flour o sa Tagalog, ang ating harina. Ano nga po ba siya? Ang sabi dito, Flour is a powdery substance produced by finely grinding grain through a process called milling. The classification of flour is based on the amount of protein that each type contains. Protein determines the gluten strength of the flour. Gluten gives the dough its shape and form. Ito yung parang uh, glutenous na uh, nagagawa ng ating flour. Okay, later on makikita nyo yan sa ating mga dough. Okay, ang flour po ang pinakamadalas na ginagamit natin sa ating bread and pastry. Okay, particularly kapag tayo po ay gumagawa ng tinapay. Ang flour po ay may iba't ibang uri. Okay, ano-ano siya? So, unahin natin ang bread flour. Okay? Ang bread flour po, sabi dito, it has the highest amount of protein, thus high gluten content, so it is used for bread. Okay? Bread flour is creamy in color and is rather rough and granular. Okay, so ito daw po yung may pinaka mataas na protein, kaya ito po yung mas uh, glutenous sa mga types ng ating flour. Okay? Okay, by the way po, ang gluten ito po yung nagbibigay ng elasticity sa ating flour. Okay, or dun sa ating mismong mixture. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, ma-expand nyo po talaga ang ating uh, do kapag ito po ang ating ginagamit, which is yung bread flour. Okay, basatin yon. Next naman po natin after ng bread flour ay ang ating cake flour. Okay, sometimes called soft flour. At as it is milled from soft white wheat, it is described as weak because the product made from it are tender with delicate texture. So, from the word itself, cake flour, ito po yung ginagamit natin kapag tayo po ay nagbe-bake ng mga cake. Okay? So, ito po ay hindi masyadong glutenous. Okay? At uh, hindi rin po siya masyadong uh, mataas sa protein. Okay? Next naman po natin ay ang ating all-purpose flour. Sa tatlong flour na nabanggit ko, ito po yung madalas na makikita natin sa ating mga grocery store, okay? It is made from a combination of bread and cake flour sources and has medium gluten strength. It is suitable for almost any baking purposes. Kaya nga po siya tinawag na all-purpose flour. Maaaring pwede siyang pang-bake ng tinapay or maaaring pwede rin siyang pang-bake ng cake. Ang kanyang glutenous po ay nasa in-between lang po ng cake flour and ng ating bread Flour. Okay ba sa atin yun? Okay. Meron din po tayong tinatawag na self-rising flour. Ano po ba to? Ang self-rising flour po ay meron po siyang content na baking powder. Okay? Yung baking powder po, yun po yung, ito po yung nagbibigay ng air sa ating dough para ito po ay umalsa. Kaya nga po siya tinawag na self-rising flour. Okay? Next naman po natin ay ang rye flour. Has a distinctive flavor many people like and it contain no gluten. Okay? Okay. Care and storage of flour. Saan nga po ba siya tin tinatago? Okay? Sabi dito, flour should be stored in a high ventilated room free from insects and rodents. Okay? Dahil paborito po itong pamahayan ng mga ipis, So, dapat iniiwas po natin siya doon. At saka, dapat meron tayong container na sariling lagayan lang po ng ating mga harina. Ano pa? Flour should be kept away from products with strong aromas such as spices and onions. Okay. Um, isa rin po sa mga uh, nagagawa ng ating flour, no? nasisipsip niya rin po yung amoy. 
Okay? So, dapat, inihiwalay po natin siya sa mga may strong aroma, no? Uh, particularly yung ating onion. Okay? Dahil kapag itinabi natin yan sa onion, malamang yung ating uh, flour po ay mga ngamoy onion din. Okay? So, iniiwasan po natin siya. Next naman po natin, okay? Use the oldest flour first. Ang sabi nga, FIFO means first in, first out. Okay? So, para maiwasan natin masayang yung ating mga ingredients, so make sure po na ang mga nauna nating biniling flour ay siya rin nating unang gagamitin. Okay? Flour should be kept in a dry tin or glass container in a cool, dry place. Okay? Dapat yan po ay nasa uh, normal temperature lang po ng ating uh, uh, room. Okay? At meron din po yan dapat sariling container. Okay? Para maiwasan na pumasok doon yung mga rodents, mga ipis, etc. Okay? Next naman po natin na pag-uusapan ay ang ating shortening. Okay? Madalas na maririnig nyo po ito sa ating bread and pastry. Pero ano nga po ba yung shortening? Okay? Ang shortening po is another word for fat used in baking. Okay? The taste of the baked product depends greatly on the flavor of the shortening. No? Kaya nga madalas ang mga baker gumagamit ng butter para mas sumarap pa po yung ating tinapay dahil ang butter po um, ay may kakaibang aroma as well as meron din po siyang distinctive taste. Okay? Ano nga po ba yung gamit ng ating shortening? Okay? Effects of shortening on baked goods. Number one, it surrounds the gluten in the dough. It shortens the strands and make it more tender product. It makes the product lighter with greater volume. Next naman, it oils the structure of the product so it is easier to chew and swallow para daw mas madali natin siyang manguya. And it helps prolong the shelf life of baked goods. So napapatagal niya rin pala yung buhay ng ating mga baked products or baked goods. So yan pala yung epekto ng ating shortening. Ano-ano nga po ba ang mga desirable qualities of shortening? So, ito. Number one is plasticity. Number two is waxiness. Number three is pleasant odor. And number four is pleasant flavor. Okay. So, we have the kinds of shortening used in bread and pastry. Ito na yung mga ingredients na yan. Okay? So, we have our butter. Ito yung ating butter. We have our oil. And we also have our lard. Okay? So, ito po yung lard na tinatawag. Okay? Next naman po natin ay yung ating sugar. Okay? Sa Tagalog is asukal. Okay. Sugar is responsible for the attractive golden brown color of baked products. It contributes to the development of good flavor and aroma. Okay? So, hindi lang pala siya nakakapagbigay ng uh, tamis sa ating uh, tinapay or sa ating baked goods, pero nakakapagdagdag pa rin po siya ng aroma or yung mabangong amoy ng ating tinapay. Okay, so we have our kinds of sugar na ginagamit sa ating bread and pastry. We have the ultra fine. It is used for cakes and cookies. Sometimes this is called uh, baker's special. Okay? Mas fine po yung kanyang uh, yung mga particles nitong uh, asukal na to. Next naman po natin ay yung ating granulated sugar. Ito po yung kadalasang nakikita natin sa ating mga bahay. Next naman po natin ay yung ating powdered sugar. It is frequently called as confectioner's sugar because it is used in making frostings and icing. Ang powdered sugar po ay may halos kaparehas na itsura ng ating flour which is medyo mukhang pulbos. Okay po ba sa atin yun? And next, we have our brown sugar. It's often called soft sugar because of its moisture content. It color, its color may vary from light to dark brown. Okay? So, muli po, ang pagsukat ng ating uh, mga sugar, particularly the white sugar and then the brown sugar po, ay magkaiba po ang ating ginagawang uh, paraan. Okay? 
So, yun po ay nasa kabilang video. Okay, so effects of sugar on baking. Sabi dito, it tenderizes the gluten, it makes browner, crisper crust. It helps bake products stay fresh longer because it retains the moisture. Okay, so katulad rin pala siya ng ating mga shortening na nakakapagpahaba din ng ating ng buhay ng ating mga baked products. Okay, next naman po natin ang mga leaven, leaveners. Okay, ayan po ang basa dyan, leaveners. Ano po ang uh, leavener sa ating bread and pastry? Or leavening agent. It is a substance used in baking to make a product rise so it becomes light a proportion to its size. Leavening agents produce a gas that expands when heated. Or in other words, ito po yung mga ginagamit natin pang paalsa ng ating mga baked goods. Okay? Ibig sabihin, mag or literal na lumaki or mag-expand ng uh, hindi normal sa kanyang bigat. Okay? So, man, maliwanag po ba sa atin yun? Okay, so ano-ano nga po ba ang kinds ng leavening agents na ginagamit natin sa ating bread and pastry? Okay, so unahin natin muna to yung air or yung hangin. Okay? Air works as a leavener because it expands when heated. It can be incorporated into the product by beating, folding and in beating egg whites, sifting the flour, creaming the shortening. Okay? So, yung po, yung po palang mismong hangin natin ay isa ng halimbawa uh, ng ating leavening na ginagamit sa ating bread and pastry. Yan ay pwede nating ma-achieve sa mga sumusunod na uh, ways na ng ating pagbe-bake or ng technique ng ating pagbe-bake na na-discuss rin natin sa isang video. Okay, another one is steam. It is considered to be the most powerful leavener. Water changes to steam when heated, causing the mixture to rise. Okay? Okay na. So, eto na po yung ating mga chemical leavening agents. Ito po yung talagang madalas na ginagamit natin sa ating mga dough or sa ating mixture para sila po ay umalsa. Certain chemicals react to moisture and heat to form carbon dioxide such as baking soda, a leavening agent that reacts to acid to produce carbon dioxide, and baking powder, the most widely used leavener because of its sure results. So, para masigurado na tayo na ito ay umalsa, we can make use of baking powder. Okay, ano pa nga po ba? Okay, we have yeast. Okay, Yeast is a single-celled plant that feeds on starch and sugar. It is different from other leavening agents because it is alive. So, buhay po talaga siya. Actually, talagang uh, bacteria po itong yeast. Okay? O kaya buhay talaga itong bacteria. Okay? Two types of commonly used yeast. Okay? So, we have the compressed yeast, also called as cake yeast. It can be stored for 4 to 5 weeks in a refrigerator. Next naman po natin ay ang dry yeast. Ito po yung madalas na nakikita ko sa uh, dough na ginagamit natin. No? It is granular and darker in color than cake yeast. It is purchased in sealed packs or envelopes to ensure freshness. Next naman po natin ay ang ating liquids. Okay? Unahin natin ang pinaka-basic, water. It gives different texture to baked items, especially bread and rolls. The texture of a baked product is coarse and chewy if water is used instead of milk. Okay? Next naman po natin ay ang ating milk. Has a definite function in baking. It gives finer, more velvety grain. It adds flavor and it helps the product to stay longer. Wow. Next naman po natin ay ang ating eggs or itlog. Okay? Eggs perform important function in cakes that other ingredients cannot do. Eggs are essential because they maintain tender uh, the structure of the cake or baked product. Egg 
eggs hold together uh, the other ingredients during mixing and baking. Okay, so madalas ito po talagang egg ay uh, mas madalas nagagamit sa ating cake. Okay? Next naman natin, flavorings and spices. Unahin natin, yan, salt. It is essential in producing a satisfactory yeast product. It gives a finer texture to bread and removes the flatness or lack of flavor on it. Okay? Talagang naglalagay tayo ng pinch of salt dyan sa ating mga dough, no? Para uh, magkaroon ng lasa. Okay? Ayan. Next natin is chocolate and cocoa. Okay? Are highly prized for their flavor, aroma, and deep brown color. Ayan na. Fruits and spices. Are extracts from the base of fruits. They are they add pleasant odor to baked products. So, syempre, depende ang kung strawberry, kung mango, kung apple. Okay? So, kaya nagkakaroon ng, uh, ng flavor yung ating mga tinapay. It is because of the fruit flavor and spices. Okay. Ayan! Marami na naman po ba tayong natutunan? Maraming marami po, sir. Wow! Very good naman po pala. Next week, tayo po ay papasok na sa ating Module 5, which is the checking of condition of tools and equipment. Muli po, ako si Sir Drew. Always at your service. Paalam!